Brutal March March 2020 marked a brutal period in the COVID-19 crisis, characterized by a rapid increase in cases and significant socioeconomic disruptions in the U.S. The World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic on March 11, leading to stringent U.S. measures like travel bans and a national emergency declaration. The financial markets plunged into chaos with intensified panic selling, affecting stocks, bonds, and commodities alike. This period saw the dispute between Saudi Arabia and Russia over oil production, leading to a crash in oil prices and further exacerbating market turmoil. The U.S. stock market experienced dramatic falls, with the Dow Jones dropping significantly on March 9, Black Monday, March 12, Black Thursday, and March 16, Black Monday too, each marking some of the most significant declines in history and pushing the market into a bear status. Despite various stimulus measures by the Federal Reserve, the markets continued to struggle, reflecting the extreme uncertainty and fear amongst investors, as indicated by a record spike in the volatility index, VIX, on March 16. This period was marked as one of considerable upheaval, with the pandemic's full impact becoming increasingly apparent across various sectors. King Dollar During the heightened panic of March 9, 2020, amidst the COVID-19 crisis, the US dollar stood out as the primary asset that strengthened while other traditional safe assets like government bonds, gold, and the Japanese yen were sold off. This surge in the dollar's demand was driven by its status as the predominant reserve currency and a crucial asset for international transactions. Companies and foreign governments, needing to secure dollars for repaying dollar-denominated debts or for operational liquidity, contributed to this heightened demand. The scarcity of the dollar during this time led to credit crunch conditions, with a notable increase in the TED spread, which measures the health of the banking sector. While the panic led to the liquidation of even traditionally safe assets in favor of dollars, the corporate bond market faced even more significant distress, with both high-yield and investment-grade segments experiencing one of the worst periods for issuances. Despite various measures, including a substantial interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve, the market's distress highlighted the criticality of the dollar during global economic crises and the severe credit risks that materialized within the global financial system.